Hey YouTubers, well I have a review for you guys. Ignore my hair, it's all frizzy and bleh. Okay, um, so I actually saw this product not on TV, but I saw it in a magazine from Mary Claire. Mary Claire, I don't know how you say it. That magazine, and... Okay, so it's L'Oreal's, um, first roller foundation for a perfectly even controlled and ultimate airbrush finish. It's the true match roller perfecting roll on makeup. So I was just reading it from there. Um, okay, I went and got it like a week ago, I think, probably. Um, okay, this is something bad about their, um, varieties on colors because they don't have that many options. They only have like probably nice 12 shades and I really, I don't know, I just think they should have made more shades so you could have like, I don't know, blue, my hair looks orange right there. Okay, so I first went and I got the N12 Soft Ivory Classic Ivory. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But yeah, but it's too light for me. Look, really light for me, and I thought it was gonna be more like my color, but it's not. Um. Oh yeah, these prices vary. Um, depending where you get it. I got mine at Walmart, and it was like fourteen or thirteen something. Those so tax, you know. So. Um. Okay, and then the next day I went and got a different one, and I got. N3 Natural Buff. There. It also says right here it has a little sticker, which is just gonna blind blind you guys. But yeah, it's like three shades darker um, than the soft ivory one. But yeah, look, that one's more like my shade compared to this one. Okay, I can't open it. Now I'm stuck with two, and I don't know what to do with this one because. Yeah. Okay, but this one, so if you're more like my skin tone color, um, you're probably going to need the N3 one. Okay, so this is the first makeup that has this roller application, like a paintbrush, a paint roll thing, whatever it's called. Um, and seriously, like, when I first saw the roll thing, I'm like, that's the only reason I wanted to get it. I really didn't care about the makeup it was the roll thing and I think that's what catches everybody's attention and then the packaging is pretty cute um the only thing I think they should have added a mirror that's all um the price is pretty high compared to drugstore um makeup but I mean it's a new product so I guess that's why okay so um I actually like this better I like the roller better than the foundation. The foundation is okay. It's not like 100% coverage, you know. Um, It's probably like 80% coverage. Not that well compared to... Well, actually, it's pretty good compared to other makeup things. Makeup foundation, drugstore foundations. But the thing that gives you more like an airbrushed look is actually the roller. Not so much the foundation, but it's the roller. Mine's dirty. But it's pretty cute and it's a good size. Like you may think maybe it's too small, you know? You can see it's dirty. It's too small, but it's actually really good. It gets like really good and um it's great for your neck because instead of like putting your foundation or with an air an airbrush. A brush, I this looks a lot better. Doesn't look streaky or anything. And it, it I could actually get like pretty well on your nose. You just have to go through it like a couple of times. Um, but don't don't use this if you have eyeliner on already. Like first, put your foundation on if you're gonna use the roller. Cause I had like eyeliner and I went like that and like it got all black. So yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna show you not wearing foundation. I'm gonna show you. I don't think you're going to see because the lighting is pretty bright right now. But, um, 
it doesn't, the foundation doesn't give you, like, 100% coverage, like I said. Um, it does last a lot better than my other foundations I have used. Even with a primer, I would use, like, my other foundations. Even with the primer, I would use Smashbox um, Photo Finish. Like, it wouldn't last throughout the day. Um, it wouldn't look, like, 100% perfect. And with this one, I noticed it does last a lot better. I don't know if it's the foundation or, of course, the primer is supposed to make it last better. And, um, but I noticed throughout the day, like, in school, when I get home, my foundation is still kind of on. And with others, like, it still wasn't. Like, I, I would have, like, come home and, like, I didn't have any face makeup. But this one, it actually lasts me all day. And it actually, which is weird, I don't know if I'm the only one. It made my blush last a little bit longer. With my other foundations, like, my blush would go away, like, fast. I don't know, that's my, um, opinion. My experience, I guess. But it's really nice. I actually recommend more the roller than the foundation. Um, I don't know why. But it's really nice. Um, all my friends, when I first, like, I brought it and they needed, like, makeup. And they're, like, they were looking through my makeup ba bag in school. And they're, like, they were all trying it on. Well, not all of them. There was a lot of girls. Cause it's bad to share your makeup. They were all trying it and they're, like, they really liked it. They even wanted to get it. Um, and some of them were, like, their skin tone was a little bit lighter than mine. And it still matched them, which is pretty weird. The thing I do not like is the colors, like, this. It looked dark in the packaging when I first got it. It looked pretty dark, and I was like, oh, it's not gonna, like, match my skin tone. And it actually did, which is weird, because it was a little bit darker. Now, like, look, do you see? Looks like it's gonna be darker than me, but it's not. Um, it was, like, perfect, um, shade color. So I actually really like it, um, I recommend again the roller more than the makeup, but that's my opinion. Maybe you could use it with like other foundations, like just use the roller, cause whoever m made this up about the roller is like freaking smart. <laughs> um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. Um. Like I said, it's, the foundation is not 100% coverage. The roller is awesome. On a scale of 1 to 10, I rate it like a 10. Um, foundation-wise, probably an 8. 9. 8, 9. Um, I've never tried L'Oreal's foundations. It's the first time I have tried it. But yeah. I actually recommend it. So... Unless you're too picky about the price for a drugstore, because for a drugstore price, it's, like, pretty high. Um, so yeah. That's all. I hope I help a little. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.